Tom, we spoke about Tina the Turner. This is Tina the Turner here. This is British artisan cheese making meets Swiss yeah. robotics. <laughs> yeah. Not something you're gonna see every day. Um, give us a brief description of what this robot does for the business. So this is a, our cheese turning robot. She just gives us time, basically. So um, uh, it takes a really, it's, it's a really important job that she does, say so turning cheeses over. Um, you've got uh, moisture in there that needs to be redistributed. These cheeses uh, have a tendency to actually uh, fuse themselves to the boards if you don't actually turn them over. And also we're trying to encourage um, a, um, an even ripening of the mold, the bacteria and the um, fungus that are actually at, on the outside of the, the cheese. That's really important for cheese quality. So being able to turn it over and keep that, those conditions pretty um, uh, similar, then, then that's, that's a really important task. And then also with that, you know, she's got the element of hoovering, so we can keep everything tidy, keep everything brushed down, um, keep everything in check. And previously this was a human job where yeah. they'd be going around, I'm guessing with some kind of tool, but essentially picking up, flipping, brushing down themselves and hoping to I don't know, how many, how many were they doing in a day at that stage? Well, well this is it. I mean, th this was a job for me and the rest of the team at the end of the cheese make, making day, which in itself is a hugely physical task. And so uh, we'd be in the old store having to hand turn them. And it was just, you know, with the best will in the world, um, uh, the phone would go, losing your place where it would be, you know, the, the whole kind of human element in, in it as well, physically taking them off the shelves, there's more likelihood of damage um, because of this kind of different stresses and how you're doing it. You're not necessarily going to be consistent every single time. Um, whereas with this machine, you know, it's, it's taking, pulling it out on flat surfaces. So there's not much angle pressure actually at any one point. Um, and so it's just, just better for quality through and through. Yeah. We've paused Tina right now because otherwise we wouldn't be able to hear ourselves talk. But <laughs> yeah. essentially you just program her in and she just does her stuff while other jobs are being carried on around the farm. Yeah, I mean it looks like a, a complicated system, which kind of in, in areas it is, but it's actually relatively simple. Um, it, it works off of uh, a movement sensor uh, reading the distance of the, the, this bottom plinth here. Um, and so it will actually locate itself throughout the aisle and set it up and then um, off she goes. Yeah, and combined with the, the RFID tags that are in each cheese, so those are tracking how long it's been aging for, its location. Yeah, so, so the RFID tags don't actually link with the robot, mm -hmm. um, but we use RFID scanners uh, because the, the, the robot means, well, the traditional way of um, uh, of labelling these cheeses has been like a luggage tag label um, and obviously... I think I saw some of those around the corner. Yeah, that's it. So those are still being hand turned. The trouble with when you turn it with a ro robot is um, she just ripped them off. Yeah. Um, and then you'd be, you know, not knowing what the cheese was where it, um, uh, and what date it was. So we'd lose full traceability. Um, so we came up with the concept of maybe looking to RFID solution. And by doing that, it's actually opened up this new world of traceability. Yeah. Um, and it's actually really exciting. So we just use a RFID scanner, scan the outside of the cheese. Um, that'll tell us, um, it'll give it a unique code, which is unique to that specific cheese rather than just the batch. Um, and then we can track it in all sorts of different ways. Okay. And everyone in the business, majority know how to use Tina and get to do her stuff? It's not solely the role of what, a couple of people? It's actually more of a role of a few people, okay. to be honest. I mean, not everybody knows um, the ins and outs of Tina's uh, functioning at the moment. Um, and I suppose with this level of, of investment and responsibility, it's quite useful just to have a have a couple of people who are actually mm -hmm. dedicated to this machine. Um, you know, otherwise, you know, it's, it's quite a heavy investment for, for everybody to know and not know who's actually done. Yeah. <laughs> Programmed it in the wrong way. Okay. Yeah. The final thing, it's a big capital investment, so you have to set aside the cash to do this. It's from a manufacturer, not in the UK. You're one of the first, if not the first, to use it for this kind of process. So what did you, what, what did you do and what have you done in terms of if anything goes wrong, risk mitigation? Is, is, what was the thought process there? Yeah, so, um, so we um, first talked to the guys in 2007 um, when we initially kind of 
we first, I mean, this is, this is not that new technology um, because you, um, people use it for Conte, Gruyere, uh, Parmesans have been turned by robots for such a long period of time. It's just with the innovations of like cheddar production has been more about efficiency and block production. Okay. So it's only, there's only a few of us left making this cylindrical cheese. So we spoke to um, these guys over in uh, Switzerland and, um, and it took us about three years of development to, to um, make it relevant to a cheddar rather than those like washed, washed cheeses. Um, so yeah, we went over there a couple of times um, uh, and, uh, and taught them through the process quite a lot. Um, mitigation, I, mean, I, I think, I suppose these days with the internet, you can just plug her in. It, this isn't actually Wi-Fi. Um, but you can get um, uh, newer versions that do work on Wi-Fi and the diagnostics that they can kind of sit, sit at a laptop in Switzerland and actually you okay. know, tell you exactly what's going wrong is, fills us with, um, yeah, kind of confidence. Confidence, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we should probably let Tina get back to doing her job because she's got hundreds of cheeses to get through. Um, <laughs> so let's plug her back in.